so we're back for episode 10, and we just made it to the uh, sta station pump alpha. This episode will be a little bit longer than the other. Didn't realize it was only like 10 minutes. Oh, sorry, I'm open this gate.
guess that happened before. Pretty funny though. sure you don't want to. Pretty sure. Make it up there. Let's go on do that. Another leap of faith. Made it right up. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> like I said, this is my favorite part of the game. I'm sure the upstairs is pretty fun, but this is really, really nice. drink during the stupid loading screen. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. That's asbestos. The good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on Oh my god. That's just hilarious. Science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. That is so ridiculously funny. Oh. I've got to remember what I'm supposed to do here. I'm pretty sure I get up there. Whoa. Looking up. Forty-four point six years. So if you're thirty or forty-four point six years. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. <laughs> just that statement is just no, I don't know. Probably something you shouldn't laugh at, but man, it's just funny. Maybe this time I won't fall. I'll look up.
guessing you won't like that. And this. Oh, this is going to be fun. I feel like we're fixing to come out here. Hit that and bounce all the way across. Should be pretty fun. Here we go. Boing. Slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> That's like trying to tell people not to think of an elephant. And the first thing you think of is an elephant. Ah, another puzzle. If you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. And we'll just go ahead and hit that. amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. <laughs> so, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> simple and I can't remember what to do. Stuck. Oh my god. Grab it. Let's just wipe it off. There we go.
You, box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> she is a gem. Four thousand meters, and uh, that sounds like a good place to stop. Uh, this is Tachi signing off. Have a good day.